Today, we've gone from 22 teams to the final four in all three competitions. To get the backstory on some of these teams and how they got this far, we'll be talking to some teachers and mentors who've been with the teams every step of the way. These guys are passionate about what they're doing, about seeing this thing actually brought to a product. It's been a real uh, fun experience for me to be able to participate with a bunch of students and actually work on something that uh, really will change the world. My students are able to take uh, some of the lessons we've taught them over the last several years and to put it into a real world experience. I'm really impressed by the creativity and the technology these young people are coming up with. So I feel like a proud parent. He's been very supportive this entire time. I've presented at conferences and things a lot, but these kids are 16 years old. They've never done anything like this before. Yeah, of course, he's really good at this, whereas if I play it myself, it takes longer. They're having this opportunity to meet people who can inspire them and show them that there are a lot of other people like them who can do wonderful things. Yeah, to see them on the first day of class and then to see them now being so successful is really exciting because you, you see them uh, finding solutions to today's toughest problems. My mentor is one of the best people that we've ever worked with. He can do anything in six seconds. You don't want to approach this as a student competition. You want to approach this as a business uh, environment. If you approach this as a student competition, you're not going to do well. I'm so proud of my students, I can really hardly stand it. So all credits to her, because of her we are here in the Imagine Cup. Go Team Voltron! Go Team Saz! Go Team Blue! Chicago! The unsung heroes of the Imagine Cup are really the teachers and mentors, providing behind-the-scenes support and much-needed guidance. Congratulations to all of our teams.